Prince Harry was challenged to a football competition on German TV last night. He failed to score a single point, but the Duke of Sussex hasn't let that dampen his spirits as he's been cheering on competitors in the Invictus Games today, with Meghan expected to join him later in the week. Joining us is Talk TV presenter and royal commentator Afia Hagen. Good to see you, Afia. Now, this yeah. is only my view. I, I've got nothing to confirm whether it's true <laughs> or not, but doesn't he look as if he's having a ball? He looks jolly and he looks a bit like the old Harry. You know, he's, he's, he's fist-pumping members of the audience. He he's just looks like he's having a great time. He looks like he's having an incredible time and people are really enjoying him being there and supporting them. He said he's going to try and go to as many events as possible throughout the whole week. It's the Invictus Games until the 16th of September. 550 competitors, so there's a lot happening. You've got wheelchair basketball, wheelchair rugby final coming up. It's a supremely busy week, but this is where we see Prince Harry at his absolute very best in his element amongst veterans, this incredible competition. He was rubbish on TV last night. <laughs> and, and he knows, you know, yeah. and he kind of was able to laugh at himself and how terrible it is. But he's the guy but, yeah. who's still running with the same boat, do you remember? And doing <laughs> yeah. a damn good job yeah, as well. Yeah, great Not job. embarrassing himself at all. <laughs> at all. So he obviously he's let his football skills lie a bit fallow. White word a little bit, yeah. Yes. But you're right, he looks like he's having an incredible time. Which makes me wonder, I know this is only wondering and surmising, but, you know, he's in Montecito. I mean, we've seen the chicken coop. We've seen the children. I mean, how many pasta collages and clearing out the chicken can you do? Doesn't he need to be working and busy? Doesn't he look as if he's really thriving there? Yeah. But I'm sure he is working and busy in Montecito. Putting this together, you know, isn't something that just happens the week before. They spend a long time. It's biannual, you know, it's a huge amount of work and effort to get all these teams together. You've got new teams from Nigeria there this year as well. It's all the dignitaries and people that come as well. You know, it's a huge job, which he's doing all year round. Mm -hmm. And I think what we're seeing now is, is obviously the culmination of that work and we get to see him there enjoying it. But I'm sure he's enjoying this work all year round and with the other charities he works with as well. Speaking of Nigeria, it turns out that Megan is 43% Nigerian. She is, So she's yeah. going to be cheering on Nigeria, he Yeah, says. he said that in a speech that there's going to be some competitiveness, that Megan will probably be cheering on Nigeria <laughs> this year, and good for her. Yes, yes, she's, she's going to join him later on in the week. She will, yes. And she's supposed to be meeting some uh, children of the families that are there. So yeah, I'm sure they'll absolutely love that as well. And of course, we will be on Megan Watch later we on this week. We certainly will. We will. But, but does it seem to to you that the prince is kind of this is his metier and so what you really want or what what he might want I suppose is what I really mean is more of that oh, other that's... things like that absolutely and I think he probably will do more things like this this is where we see Prince Harry in his element where he's working on causes that he really really cares about that he's passionate about you know he set up the Invictus Games after seeing the Warrior Games in the US it's been on since 2014 and what we saw in in the Invictus documentary that Netflix put out a couple of weeks ago, this is really a passion project for him, helping veterans, using the power of sport to do that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is Prince Harry in his element, and he will do more of this stuff, I'm sure. And it's great to see him out there, you know, using his power, the power of soft diplomacy in the right way with this incredible competition. And I think also a novelty that he isn't selling any or pitching any sob yeah. stories, not no. saying, poor me, he can't possibly in that environment, can he? Absolutely not because it's really not about him yes he talks about his experiences in the Invictus documentary in Harry and Meghan but actually for him this is about the rehabilitation of these incredible veterans some of them he's met some of whom he hasn't actually that have gathered all around the world in these teams it's about him being able to give these people a new lease of life yes and so Harry at his best which is yeah. a good thing to see reminding yeah. us why it was and why it still is for so many of us that we feel an enormous um, affection for him. Absolutely, absolutely. Harriet is very best.